Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about perfect squares and perfect cubes. Now, are we talking about the shapes? Not really. What we're going to be talking about is actually numbers and exponents. So, if we have a base number, I don't know, let's say 5, then it could have an exponent with it of a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, well, enter anything really. But a perfect square refers to whenever we have numbers that are what we call squared. That may be a term you've heard before as it relates to exponents, or it might not. Here's the deal. Whenever we talk about a base number squared, we talk about it to the second power. Now that means, in this case, 5 times 5, or 5 times itself, right? Now what would 5 times 5 be? Yeah, 25. Here's the deal. The answers to numbers squared, aka in this case 25, those are what we call perfect squares. Squares that are the product of numbers times themselves. I'm actually going to write that definition down in case you want to write it down. Perfect squares are numbers that are the product of a number times itself. So let's do some examples real quick. Any number could be squared, such as 1 squared, or 2 squared, or 3 squared. I wrote a 3, my bad. Or 4 squared. I mean, any of them, right? If we figure out what these numbers are, what these are equal to, we'll be able to actually make kind of like a list of perfect squares. The reason that we care about these is because there's a lot of times in mathematics that we need to divide a number into two equal portions. Well, a really easy way to do that, or a really easy way to recognize when we can do that is be by being able to notice or recognize these perfect squares when we see them in equations. So it's important that we kind of get used to the I being able to identify these. Well, what's 1 squared, or 1 times 1? Well, it's 1, right? 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared, or 3 times 3 is 9. You get the hang of it here, right? Now, I tend to recommend you want to be able to identify by sight at least all the way up to 12 squared. So if you haven't, maybe take a moment and write down 1 squared all the way to 12 squared, and you'll be able to make a list of all of the perfect square numbers from 1 through 12. Now, you don't necessarily have to, or if you really love it, you think, I want to know all the perfect squares, you can go farther than that. But it can be helpful. Now, here's the deal. A perfect cube is similar, but a little bit different. A perfect cube is a number that is the product of a number times itself three times. So what I mean by that is not one squared or one to the second, but one or two or three or anything like that to the third. Two times two times two, or three times three times three. This is what we tend to call a number cubed. A number to the third power is also called, or it's just kind of a synonym that we use, is a number cubed. So this would be three cubed or four cubed. And the answers to these, the base numbers with their exponents, are perfect cubes. Numbers that could be split up into three equal factors, or three identical factors. So what is one times one times one? Well, that's one, right? Two times two times two. Well, two times two is four, times another two is eight. 
One thing that's important is not to accidentally add the number three times, but to make sure you're multiplying it three times. Such as three times three times three is 27. Four times four times four is 64. Now these aren't exactly the ones that we talk about as often when we work with equations. So I don't always recommend that you have them memorized per se, like we do with the perfect squares. But we do still often use these and want to be able to identify these up through, I don't know, maybe 10 or so. Not super necessary, but you can. But these are perfect squares and perfect cubes. Again, perfect squares being the numbers that are a product of a number times itself, and a perfect cube being the uh, number, a number that is a product of a number times itself three times. So these are our perfect cubes, and the ones we had up here before, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, so on and so forth, those are our perfect squares. If you have any questions about that, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.